Hello, I'm Lauren Preer, the City of Fort Worth Assistant Director for Capital Delivery. Today we'll be discussing the soon to be advertised request for qualification for professional engineering, design and consultant services for the delivery of planning, design and the construction of capital projects. This presentation, along with a networking opportunity, was originally scheduled for March 27th, 2020. Due to the city's proactive response to the coronavirus outbreak, Industry Day has been canceled, and this presentation has been recorded in lieu of the Industry Day. This presentation is meant to provide you with an overview of the request for qualifications to be advertised on the city's procurement website and in the Fort Worth Star-Telegram on April 2nd, 2020. Our agenda today will cover a brief overview of the city's transportation and public works organization, updates to our website and standard specifications, the request for qualifications for the new consultant pool, and upcoming RFQ opportunities. Contact information will be provided at the end of the presentation for questions. All questions related to the RFQ must follow the city's RFI process. The City of Fort Worth's Transportation and Public Works Department is led by Director William Johnson and is organized into the following seven divisions. Capital Delivery, City Engineering, Business Support, Stormwater Management, Transportation Management, Streets and Stormwater Operations, and the Regional Mobility and Innovation Division. The Capital Division oversees the delivery of the Capital Roadway Program, Pavement Management, and the construction management and inspection services for city projects. Now, for a few updates to our standard specifications and website that we wanted to bring to your attention. The city's standard specification website was updated to a new web address on March 5th, 2020. The old access point through Buzzsaw is now offline. The new website address is apps.fortworthtexas.gov backslash project resources. In order to view and download files, search in the folder for the specification, followed by selecting the name of the file you wish to view or download. If a designer necessitates changes to the specification, a copy of the Word version must be requested from the city's assigned project manager. This process will ensure any pending changes to the standard specification are applied to the project. Alternatively, if you do not wish to search for the specification in the project resource website, as mentioned in the previous slide, the existing website for contractor consultant and developer information at fortworthtexas.gov backslash tpw backslash contractors is available in the order found of the standard specification table of contents. However, we're currently updating links found in the index sheets to view or download the specification directly from the project resources webpage. These links will be updated by the end of April 2020. For questions regarding the city standards, please feel free to contact our TPW offices at 817-392-8363. The table of contents has now been updated to list the latest revision dates to the standard in the right-hand column. The revision dates were added at the request of the city project managers to help users of the contract documents know what standards are available and when they were last updated. Standards listed that are not used in the contract documents should have the text stricken through but not deleted from the list. A few other notable updates to our website. Buzzsaw is no longer used by the city. Throughout our website, all references to Buzzsaw are in the process of being deleted. Under the Instructions to Bidder page, plan holders can now keep apprised of any changes associated with a project during the solicitation process by downloading the plan holder's file, completing the information, and returning the completed form to the project manager or the design engineer. The Bid Proposal Workbook, which is an Excel spreadsheet, will no longer have tab 003513. This tab is a duplication of the Conflict of Interest Statement specification and was removed from the workbook. And lastly, the General Condition Specification, Article 5.03, was updated to reflect that contractors are to deliver certificates of insurance in at least the minimum amount as specified in the supplementary conditions. Switching gears now to the request for qualification for professional engineering design and consultant services for the delivery of planning, design, and construction of capital projects. The RFQ is scheduled to be advertised on April 2nd and April 9th on the City of Fort Worth procurement website and the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. 
All requests for information and clarification to the RFI must be submitted no later than 5 p.m. on April 17th to receive consideration. All statements of qualifications must be submitted in hard copy form to City Hall by April 30th, 2020 at 5 p.m. Please pay close attention to the addendums as the location and format of the submittal is subject to change. We intend to have the qualified consultant list identified by the end of May with RFP feedback by appointment only in June of 2020. These dates are subject to change. Updates will be posted to the purchasing website. The professional engineering services and consultant staffing support services required for cradle to grave project delivery will vary, but will be associated with the following types of projects and categories. Arterial projects, intersection projects, neighborhood and pavement maintenance projects, construction management support contracts, program and project management support contracts, program level and project planning support contracts, and project management peer review and process improvement support contracts. A detailed description of each will be provided in the RFQ. The following planning design and construction phase services for specialty area task order projects will be included in the RFQ. The intent of these work order contracts will be to provide planning, alignment and feasibility review, design and or construction phase services for specialty areas or work categories for multiple locations on an on-call basis as needed. Through the Statement of Qualification Submittal, the City desires to obtain information regarding the responders' experience and capabilities for the specific project and contract types listed in the RFQ. The ability to deliver projects within scope, schedule, and budget is critical. City of Fort Worth experience is not required. Submitters will be required to demonstrate the success of the firm based upon their record of performance on other projects. Examples of success include innovative solutions or exceptional management that resulted in project cost savings, the capabilities of the proposed project team, and their approach for handling multiple projects simultaneously at various stages of the development. The City Staff Committee will evaluate the responses received in order to develop a qualified consultant list for each project and contract type and specialty area. The City reserves the right during the evaluation process to request additional information or clarification from the responders or to allow for corrections or errors or omissions. Not all consultants submitting will make the qualified consultant list. The city reserves the right to limit the list to the number of consultants deemed most beneficial to the city. Consultants must submit for each project type, contract type, and specialty area of interest to them. The number of contracts, dollar amounts contracted, and current workload with each firm will be a consideration in the selection of future projects using the qualified consultant list developed from this SOQ solicitation in addition to the specific qualifications described in the SOQs. The qualified consultant list will be valid for up to four years from this submittal. Transportation and Public Works aspires to lead the city's efforts to promote diversity and inclusion in design, engineering, and construction project work. Because no specific project work has been finalized yet, our SBE goals have not been set. However, the SOQ should include a statement of commitment to meeting SBE participation goals set for work, which is awarded as a result of this RFQ. It should be noted that if an offeror is certified as a DBE, MBE, SBE, or WBE firm, please be aware that the city's ordinance does not allow a certified company to count itself towards the established goal. The goal represents subcontracting opportunities. Additionally, the Stormwater Management Division will be issuing a separate RFQ in the summer of 2021. The Professional Engineering Services and Consultant Staffing Support Services will likely include Capital Project Development, Design and Project Management, Hydrodynamic Modeling, Strategic Planning and Policy Guidance, Geomorphological Services, Flood Warning Services, Development Review, Floodplain Management, Information Management and Communications, Natural Area Preservation and Water Quality. Over the next six years, stormwater projects will be funded by the Stormwater Program PAYGO funds, plus an additional $70 million of revenue bonds. 
Stormwater program priorities have been identified and will be funded over this time frame following the estimated breakdowns. Hazardous road overtopping mitigation at approximately 45 million. Pipe rehabilitation at 41 million. Channel restoration at 11 million. And flood mitigation at 26 million. This concludes our industry day presentation. The following contact information has been provided for your questions. All questions related to the RFQ must follow the city's RFI process through the procurement website. Thank you for your time. We look forward to a successful partnership in delivering the City of Fort Worth's capital program.